But a rift has opened up between the White House and liberal Democrats over what should be on the table in these talks. Some Democrats even say they're willing to let all the Bush tax cuts expire, at least temporarily, if they don't get the deal they want. So getting the votes is going to Senator Patty Murray of Washington State is one of them. She says negotiations should focus far more on raising tax revenue than cutting spending. Republicans are calling Democrats like you Thelma and Louise Democrats because you've expressed a willingness to go off the fiscal Look, I'm willing to take a very tough stand and say to those on the other side that we are not going to accept an unfair deal that hurts middle class America today and protect the wealthiest Americans. Period. In the House, at least 42 liberal Democrats have signed on to a bill requiring that any deal aimed at staving off the fiscal cliff contain no Medicare, Medicaid and Social Security benefit cuts. Just it puts them at uh, odds with the president, who has president said everything president should be on the table, including entitlements. Senate things. Republican leader Mitch uh, McConnell. We want to save these programs. And I understand the dilemma the president and the majority leader have. They're hard left doesn't want to change anything ever. But the top Senate Democrat, Harry Reid, says Republicans are the ones dragging their heels. There's been little progress with the Republicans, which is a disappointment to me. Um, they've talked some happy talk about doing revenues, but we only have a couple weeks to get something done. Republicans point out that Medicare and Medicaid are the largest future drivers of the debt. They say they won't agree to increased revenue from taxes unless they get entitlement cuts as well. Scott, it's safe to say there are going to be people on the right and left howling mad at no matter what this deal looks like. Nancy, thank you very much.